This is the Sales Gravy Podcast. I'm Jeff Blunt, best-selling author of People Buy You, and I'm here to help you knock down more doors, close bigger deals, and rock your commission check. People buy on emotion they justify with logic. On this episode, we're going to talk about why it's so important for salespeople to understand how human emotions work and be able to influence emotions in order to close the deal. First, though, I want you to think about the drudgery of entering data into your CRM and how much time it takes out of your sales day. For salespeople, data entry is cumbersome, time-consuming, and it's a pain. My salespeople hate it, and it's the number one reason we have such a hard time getting valuable data into our Salesforce CRM. But what if Salesforce was as easy as email? Instead of Salesforce separating you from your daily workflow, it would be integrated right into your inbox. Without leaving your inbox, you could sync your calendar and emails with Salesforce, track emails, schedule appointments, and set follow-ups. Instead of flipping between tabs or copying and pasting, you'd work right in your inbox, not in Salesforce, so there'd be no more wasted time. And this is why my team uses Cirrus Insight. Cirrus Insight is a top-rated Salesforce app, and it's a godsend. It saves us time so we can focus on crushing our sales number. And if you're ready to upgrade your inbox, go to www.cirrusinsight.com. That's www.cirrusinsight.com and start a free trial now. I promise you'll love it as much as we do. Now, I want you to do one more thing for me. I want you to go to Amazon or Barnes & Noble and pick up a copy of my brand new book, Sales EQ. You're going to love this book. I guarantee it. People act on emotion and they justify with logic. From complex to completely transactional impulse purchases, emotions drive buying decisions. And the examples are legion, and science is stacking up one study after another that demonstrate how emotion influences the choices that we make. Daniel Pink says that to sell is human, and likewise, in my opinion, to buy is human. Though as humans, we are certain that we're making choices based on rational logic, our best interest, or organized facts. Science says that often we don't. Emotion is why well-educated executives make multi-million dollar decisions with massive implications for their companies because they feel that one sales team cares about them more than another. At a wine tasting party where researchers placed the price of wine on the wine bottles, people said that the wine with the higher price tag tasted better, even though every bottle was filled with the same low-cost wine. In another study, German beer hall music lilted from liquor store speakers on Tuesdays and French music on Wednesdays. And correspondingly, German beer sales went up on Tuesdays, with French wine sales increasing on Wednesdays. On the sidewalk outside the store, researchers peered into brown bags and interviewed the patrons to learn why they purchased the beer or the wine. Most of the shoppers gave logical reasons for the purchase. They saw it in a magazine, it was recommended by a friend, they were cooking steaks tonight— or they like the taste of premium beer. As humans, it's important that our self-image correlate with our decisions, so we fall on logic to justify subconscious emotional buying behavior, and thus avoid the pain of something called cognitive dissonance, which is painful mental stress caused when we try to hold two values at the same time. Despite all the tools, information, and data at their fingertips in our internet-connected world, buyers continue to make irrational decisions. Now, am I saying that product features, quality specs, delivery options, speed, service, technology, locations, price, and other tangible attributes of your offering don't matter? Of course not. These things absolutely matter, and all are tickets to the game. However, the sales profession, inclusive of salespeople, sales trainers, sales leaders, and the marketing teams that support them, are and have been under the collective delusion that buyers make logical decisions that are in their own or their company's best interest, that they weigh decisions rationally and choose options that make the most logical sense. But the thing is, evidence upon evidence and data stacked upon data refute this assumption. And frankly, you don't need to look far for proof. I have no doubt that you've been frustrated with a prospect into which you poured heart and soul. You built the case why they should do business with you, You analyzed their current situation, and you showed them how you could save them money, time, stress, and offer better service. The case you made, the proof, it was irrefutable, and your references were impeccable, and there was even a compelling trigger event to drive their urgency. 
Yet instead of signing your agreement, they gave your competitor, who'd taken them for granted, provided shoddy service, pissed them off, and overbuilt them for the headache a second chance. I know it because I've been there and it's maddening. Now, if we were to ask your buyer why he chose to remain with a vendor that was not working in his best interest, he would lead off with a number of what he thought were logical, rational reasons. But refuting and arguing the facts would get you nowhere. The buyer would just dig in and become unmovable. What he would be unable to explain or unwilling to admit is his fear of making a mistake or that there was just something about you that at the subconscious level he didn't trust or that because he avoids conflict, firing his current vendor would put him in an uncomfortable position. Layers of emotions, both conscious and subconscious, driving his irrational choice. And yet he explains his decision in completely rational terms. As a sales professional, understanding how emotions dominate and drive buying decisions is critical to supercharging your income and advancing your career. With all things being equal, and in today's marketplace, there are rarely huge gaps or differences between competitors, at least from the prospect's viewpoint, your ability to both influence the emotions of your prospects while regulating your own disruptive emotions as you move deals through the sales pipe gives you a distinct competitive advantage. Now, emotions are difficult to wrap our arms around and sometimes hard to face. It's so much easier to pitch the features of a widget than to turn on empathy and tune into the emotions of your prospect. But the brutal, inconvenient truth is that you can pitch, challenge, teach, and offer insight until your heart's content. But it will not matter because people buy for their reasons, not yours. You see, sales and buying are woven into the imperfect fabric of human emotions, No matter what you sell, your sales process, or the complexity of the sales and buying process, emotions play a crucial role in the outcomes of your sales conversations, your interactions with prospects, and your deals. You see, the problem is that most salespeople begin the sales process from a position of logic and over the course of the sales process shift towards emotion. On the other hand, buyers tend to begin the buying process at the emotional level and over time shift towards logic. At the beginning of the sales process, the buyer is asking a basic question of the salesperson, Do I like you? And in the same moment, the seller is delivering a pitch on product features that they believe will generate interest from the buyer. But few things make a seller more unlikable to a buyer than pitching. And at the end of the sales process, when the buyer is asking rational questions, putting objections on the table, and negotiating, the seller is reacting emotionally to perceived rejection and desperate not to lose the deal. At the emotional level, the parties, the buyer and the seller, are perpetually out of sync. I've already shared with you one of the most cogent truths in sales. People buy for their reasons, not yours. Therefore, it follows that to be an effective sales professional, you must approach people the way they buy rather than the way you sell. Don't forget to go to Amazon or Barnes & Noble right now and pick up my brand new book, Sales EQ. I guarantee you're going to love this book. And... Make sure to go and check out my friends over at Cirrus Insight. Go to CirrusInsight.com for a free trial.